blackmail. Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit a poor sod's vein. Thank you for, for, for censoring that, Doge. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh. If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I wouldn't... <laughs> It's locked, all right. Yeah, that's a glitch because he's going to be laying down. Um, am I having game issues? Um, there. Yeah, the game has glitched for some reason. You guys realize that there's stuff down right below this bit bridge, right? And y'all are just standing around waiting for me to whoop your butt. That doesn't make a lick of sense. Y'all could hear that, right? <laughs> I'm just looking at these NPCs. They're all they're all waiting for me to move forward so they can try to kick my ass. And then it's like I'm hearing right below me the sounds of critters. Just to verify. And you guys are supposed to be hunting these guys down, right? So instead of messing with me and making my life living hell, why don't you do your job? <laughs> I'm just saying. Sorry, I kind of went on a little bit of a rant there, but still. But, um, I'm just like, you've got a critter right there, but you're too busy worried about me and what I'm doing. Meanwhile, I'm pretty much doing your job for you. Oh, crap. Where the hell did you come from? Whew. What are you taking on about? I don't want to hear it. No. Mm -mm, I ain't got nothing to do with you. Hmm. You are just a holler. He need to calm down. You need a Snickers. The hell are you coming from anyway? Let me look at the map. Yeah, somehow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I gotta make my way that way. I'm making my way downtown. Cause I hey, watch your language. I got, I, I got an answer for that right here. Where did it, where did it, where did it, where did it, where did it? Ooh, you kiss your mother with that mouth? <laughs> Language. <laughs> Spoon man. You heard what dude said. I'm just like, excuse you? I... I don't know nothing about what you what you on about, but you need to calm the hell down. <laughs> we don't have that kind of language. 
And then that, that killed me. I'm like, I heard all that. I'm like, excuse you. I'm just walking past. There's no reason. There's no reason to get rude. Dr. Jules Carthart, 1882. Carthart syndrome comprises of any one of a series of delusions that range from belief that one has lost organs, blood, or body parts, insisting that one, one has lost one's soul or is dead. Cases have been reported in patients with mood disorders, psychotic disorders, and medical conditions. Most cases of Carthart are more responsive to electroconvulsive treatment than to pharmac pharmacological treatment. We represent the case of a recent immigrant with Carthart syndrome in the context of depression to illustrate how both impairing the condition can be and how a course of effective individualized therapy can improve outcome. She basically is a 53-year-old woman who was admitted to the psychiatric unit when her family called 911 because the patient was complaining that she was dead, smelled like rotting flesh, and wanted to be taken to a morgue so she could be with dead people. <laughs> she also admitted to hopelessness, low energy, decreased appetite, and somnolence. <sighs> But basically, they were able to turn her around with my pain. I must drink and kill to regenerate my decaying body. I am a vampire too. She's not. She's not. She's just loony. She's just loony. She's just bloody loony. Is all it is. <laughs> you're just, you're just a like bloody loony. <laughs> Bloody lady. Okay, let's see here. The problem is, is that I've got to time that to where it. Got it. Woo, that was that was that was tricky. That was tricky. 